Michelle, could I ask you to share a little bit about some of the um, vision that you all have out at, in LA for bags in, in the future in terms of drop points and so forth? Absolutely. Thank you for that question, Carol. So, you know, we definitely envision having an experience where people are able to check in their bags remotely and away from the terminals. So we're looking at initially starting that with our intermodal transportation facility, as well as our consolidated rental car facility. And so that's something that we're hopeful that we'll be able to do. And that will be important um, for convenience for the passengers, but also to free up capacity on our automated people mover train so that people are not taking up that capacity with, with their baggage. Um, we also, you know, the dream is that as in some other, some airports in Asia, that we would be able to actually have people, you know, check their bags from their hotel in downtown Los Angeles or from other locations. Um, there will be issues of security. There will be issues of how do you actually get the bags um, through Los Angeles traffic to get to the airport and you know meet, meet the passenger there. Um, so those will be challenges as well. But that's something that you know as we look to the future that we really think is going to be incredibly important to the guest experience. Thanks for that. Okay, so Ian, how about if you talk to us a little bit about electric vehicles and what that might mean to the to the airports? And I know you have some uh, some information to share about what you're doing in Kansas City. All right, there you go. So one of the things of, of being fortunate enough to be building a new facility is that you can put in certain infrastructure that, in some cases, it would be very expensive to retrofit facilities to accommodate certain things such as electrification of, of vehicles. So in our new facility, one of the things we did in partnership with the airlines is we have agreed to have, uh, when we open the facility, a certain percentage of their ground service equipment being electrified. Uh, not only is that good for them in terms of their costs, but it's also good for us in terms of being good environmental neighbors to you know, the people in the communities in and around us. We've only been, you're only gonna be able to do that when you're building new infrastructure. The other thing that we've done is that we have added uh, electric buses to our fleet. And one of the additional things when we're building new capabilities for the new terminal is we could actually put in what are called inductive chargers in the ground where the passengers are being picked up. So while the passengers are getting on the buses, we can actually charge the batteries on the buses that will give, extend the life of the buses in terms of how long they can run. 